going on guys welcome back to another edition of as the wheel turns <sighs> hope everyone's having a great new year i decided today that i am going to go out to gator country that's where i'm going I, hopefully i can catch the gator they might be all in bed i'm not sure about gators habits or anything else when it comes to gators except for they taste good i do know they taste good so I think it's, I know, it's 30 miles out to the Sawgrass National Park, and that's where I'm going to go. I've never been out there on a bike. I figure I'm going to have bugs galore and everything else. And what time is, oh crap, it's rush hour. That means I'm going to be cutting you guys on and off probably because of traffic situations. Hell, it'll be all right though. You come along for the ride. You know, y'all probably only watch because y'all are like, oh, he might get eat by an alligator today or bit by a rattlesnake or chopped in the head by, waylaid by some strange woman or something. Who knows, right? You just never know. I sure did mean to be out much earlier. I mean, I was three hours ago I was ready to go and geared up and ready and some old boy caught me and he was like hey let's have a talk so we talked for several hours oh damn that messed up my time but he, he was a good conversationalist you know you gotta talk to people when they need to talk gotta vent get it off the chest make them feel better it's good for everybody but what is it it's probably 90 degrees down here today in Miami land. It's very hot. They are some of the worst drivers in the world down here, guys. I gotta tell you, they think that all they have to do is just just blow their horn. That's all good. Alright. So they do. They blow their horn and they move. I've never seen people that are so asshole-y. And Florida people are pretty cool. Did you ever realize that Florida, I mean, it, it's a very diverse place, right? It is like the nation's capital for rednecks. I thought where I lived was bad. I mean, I, 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 it's just rednecks, right? I don't know what, the, what, the, what, the, what else to put on, rednecks. Rednecks are fine. There's not a problem with rednecks. But my God, the math, math problem in, in redneck land is true and real. And they do some of the craziest things down here. I was talking to my buddy. He lives down here. And, you know, he's a great guy. He, you know, he was young once and he had, you know, meth problems and all that kind of stuff in his youth. And, boy, the redneck stories that he has told me, I just, they are so entertaining, you know. I thought I grew up poor. Oh my gosh, the, the, the stories he had to tell about catching blackbirds with, with bed springs and, and stuff. I mean, that's not a redneck story as far as eating blackbirds, I don't suppose, because I ate everything. But it, they were still very entertaining. Now, I would have never thought about catching blackbirds with bed springs and then eating, eating them to death. But that's what they did, and it worked for them. I was out catching possums and stuff like that, right? Uh, look, you know it's going to be traffic, guys. That's what it's going to be. So y'all got to bear with me because I'm going to try to cut through this traffic. Darn it. Uh, come on now. Where are you going, lady? She's totally lost, guys. Oh, there's a quad air coming in up there. Uh, and you can't split lanes in this state. Alright. Now we're on 27 boy it was a nightmare getting out here on 27 you know i'm not gonna act like it was 
so terrible. I could have split them cars and got moving. But damn, I would hate to get a ticket for something like that. That I would feel so ignorant, right? But it's a little bit nerve-wracking to be stuck among all these vehicles that are so much bigger than I am. I guess that's how they feel when they're surrounded by us in our big trucks, right? I mean, look, this little tiny RAV4, he outweighs me. It's got a big fat butt. Like buying the factory. Sunshine State, RAV4. Keep that sucker. I'm going to take my two wheels. Hell yeah. <sighs> now we can get some get get moving though. I mean, it'll it'll clear up. As far as I go, it's going to clear up. I mean, what did I come 20 miles or something like that? Uh, I'm going to get out here and I'm going to check out the um the uh the airboat rides, right? Because that's they have them out here every day apparently. And I was looking at them the other day when I drove by and I was like hey that might be fun to do and I called them and I think I talked to the right people but they was like yeah they cut off at 3 3 o'clock or 3 30 and then they have a sunset cruise or whatever they call it at 5 o'clock but I, I was thinking I bet that's probably one of the drinking barges and I didn't want to come out here and be you know I didn't want to be tempted to hang out on a drinking barge right I want to get on the go fast airboats that skims along the top of the water. I think that'd be kind of fun. But anyway, since I don't have a load yet, although I am next in line, I'm, I'm first one up actually, for a load, I might still be able to make it out here in the morning to to go on a boat ride. B -b 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 boat ride. Boat ride. You know what I'm saying? That might be fun. Uh, let's get in this next lane and go around this big truck. Y'all, ain't that awful? That's how everyone... Let's get around this big truck. He's in my way. Hey. I, I, that's just natural, right? Now you understand why it's natural. Because that's what people do. And that's why they do it to us. Woo! I, I left my, pot, my piezo behind. They wasn't reading the road, road signs like I was, right? Uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I've got to get over. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, well. What the hell is that? They go straight there? I didn't even... What the hell is that for? I'm so confused. They do that down here. They have these cutoffs where they're turning lanes. But they also go straight lanes. That makes no logical sense. Damn it. Alright. We was playing catch up and we caught it up. Now we can go. Yeah, two, two people never think of the same same way. Look how big a truck looks from down here. I mean, ain't that scary? Can you imagine getting run over by that thing? It would just mess you up. I mean, bust you open. Oh, damn, I got one behind me too. I don't want to hold nobody up. It's a Peterbilt, you know. He's got a 389 behind me. He'll just run me down. Oh, uh, but he's speeding. Look, he's, he's trying to push me. I don't understand. I, I drive a big truck. I would never run down the road and push up on anybody's ass like that guy just did my, me, right? But that's what he did. Speed limit's 50. I'm going 56 at the moment. I was going 54, I won't lie. But he's got to just go faster, faster. Like he's got anywhere to go. If he's late... He's already screwed, right? Mate, well, wait a minute. He might have a honey down here. That's the only time I can think of when speeding's okay is when you got a honey involved. No, it's not okay either. I just said that because that's what you expected me to say, but it's not okay. Not when you're in a big truck especially or anything. I, mean, 
I wouldn't. Yes, I've speeded on my motorcycle. I'm a dick like that. But only, only, only you know, experimentally. Hey, it's okay if I say it was experimental, right? Remember Bill Clinton? I smoked marijuana, but I didn't inhale. Yeah, all right, liar. I got a feeling you was doing more than inhaling. You was probably doing whiskey up your butt or something. Did you know that that's a real thing? That apparently people are pouring whiskey or liquor in their butt and getting drunk and they don't get the hangover? Is that is that true or real a thing? I don't know. I don't know. I might have to look into it. Let's see. Uh, I think I want to be in the left lane up here. I'm not sure. All right, let's just move over until we find out. Sorry for the distraction there, guys. You know, I gotta take care of other people. All right, if you turn left right here, you will go to the Everglades Holiday Park, where I might or might not ever get to go. I don't know. But right here on the right is the Seminole Truck Plaza, of course. There's that big ass alligator in there that I've known so well. I don't know if he's still there. He might, somebody might have ate him by now. Oh, look, it's kind of touristy today. That's cool. But anyway, down here is where these airboats is all parked at. Uh, I mean, it's real close. I think it's like a mile or so. And let's go see if they're there. If they're there, maybe we can jumpstart one and take it out on the glades. Y'all up for it? I mean, right? It, 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 it sounds like a good plan. No. All right, all right, I'll be good. All right. But maybe we can find out what time they open and get a phone number, maybe. Uh, is this it? I don't know if this is it or not. I don't think this is it, but I'm going to slow down and look. Uh, no, this is not it. Nope, that's not it. So we'll go down a little bit further. I mean, what's up with all the dead trees over there? You see how they just all sticking up like they drowned to death? Is that where they done flooded something that wasn't supposed to be flooded? Or is it where they dried it up and trees grew? Where they didn't belong. I don't know, but there's all kinds of wildlife over there that I'd like to have a look at. But I'm pretty sure I'd be knee, knee deep in gator poop. So, nah, we're not going on a trek around in the gator poop. This is not my part of the woods, right? I mean, if it was just any other old part of the woods where bears didn't live, I wouldn't mind getting out there and trekking around in the mud. But not somewhere swampy. I mean, they got different snakes down here that I don't have where I live. And y'all know that if I run into a snake, I'm going to make friends with it. That's just what I do. Bird. I know. The GoPro don't do a good enough job. You know, it just don't. They need something that makes a bigger picture than a GoPro. I mean, it just it takes everything too far away. Let's see. If y'all ever seen the movie where Elvis lived in in Florida? Not the Hawaii ones, but in Florida. And they were like hillbillies. And they were all fishing off of the 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 bridges and stuff. Here on 27, almost every bridge, somebody's done got that bridge staked out every day. And they're fishing off that bridge. They might share that bridge with two or three other people, probably family members, right? But if you're a stranger, they might just cut you down and, and eat you or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know about the the Florida way of life. And I've known a lot of snowbirds, but they wasn't real Floridians. Is this the place up here? I don't know. Uh, it's got a fence around it, like somebody's house or something. 
And they got sugar cane down here. Sugar cane growing up out of everything. I did not have any... I thought sugar cane looked different than it did, but apparently when it gets big, it has this grassy top. Unless I wasn't looking at sugar cane. I don't, I don't know if I was or not. I just... I was talking to Daniel about it, and he said it was sugar cane. He should know. He he hauls enough of the sugar. He's got sugar in his tanks. Hey, he said it first. I just parroted him. I swear, this is a highway for dead trucks. There's always trucks that are dead up and down through here. And oh, look, that's a prime truck. You know he's in trouble. I know exactly where he's going too. But he ain't going to make it because he's on the side of the road. And I ain't going to haul him on my little two wheels. Nope. Alright, this should be the place right here, I think. I think. If it's not, I'm about ready to quit looking for it. Oh, the lady told me it was two miles past 75. And oh, what, what do my wondering eyes did appear but a sign? It was a boat ramp sign? Yes, it could be it. Yeah, I'm doing good, I bet. Airboat rides, turn right. Sawgrass Recreational Park. Yes, this is the place I was looking for. All right, so if, if they're closed, I'm sure. But I can find it easily enough tomorrow. Welcome to the Everglades. Well, we'll just have a little look around, guys. That's what we'll do. We'll have a look around. This looks like a good place to park, right? Who's gonna who's gonna gainsay me? Let's walk up here and have a look at the airboats.